This is what we're going to draw. You'll find this easier if you plan a little bit and draw an ellipse. And underneath it, draw like a little semicircle-y shape like that. Press very gently because you'll want to erase this later. Then draw uh, two little lines coming out and then another curve underneath it like that. So in ink, we want to come all the way around this ellipse. And then we want to do a similar curve, just a little, stepped off it a little bit like that and come around there and then just a little sort of dot to make it disappear into the distance. Then we're going to want to have the handle coming around like that there. And then that's going to come around like that. And then we're just going to dot that. And then we'll continue it around like that. So that gives it a bit of sort of three dimensional shape to it. And then we can draw this curve underneath all the way around like that. And draw those two lines there. And then we'll join them together with that curve. And then we need to draw another little curve all the way around it which will be this kind of, because it's made of metal and it's kind of rolled up around the base. Now over here, we're going to have a handle. Just going to come out like that, across there, and then like that, and then it might sort of curve a little bit like that, and then we're going to have a kind of a, a hole there where you can hang it up on the wall. And now we need to fill it full of spaghetti. So, <laughs> so we're just going to do lots and lots of spaghetti. And you want to go up and over and sort of go underneath some of these things like that. And I'm going to sort of do a few of these and then I'm going to speed up. So we're going to do sort of just weird shapes like that. And you want them going up and over like that. And then we'll come back. And there we go. And I'm going to zip through a whole lot more like that. The more complicated it gets, the more you can just sort of be filling in those spaces like with little double things and then maybe now and then you need to do something like that and maybe a curve. Um, and it's just sort of filling in in the end. Uh, and do them all at random angles because that's how sort of pasta falls <laughs> in a very random kind of way. And, you know, every time you think, oh, there's a little space there, just fill it in so that it doesn't look empty. Hey, you obviously love drawing, so click the subscribe button right now and ring the notification bell. It helps this channel to grow and you'll know when my next video goes live. Thank you very much. Now when you are absolutely sure that the ink is dry then you can erase those pencil lines because you didn't press too hard, did you? <laughs> and then we're going to draw a little circle of holes around here. And then another circle of holes inside it. That looks like a six, doesn't it? And then we're going to want to do something similar here, which is not quite a circle. It's more of a, a curve of holes like that. And again, we'll have a curve of holes on this side like that. And we're going to want to have some shading going on here. So I'm going to put some shading there and some shading in there. And I'm going to put some going out across there like that too. And also here, that wants to be quite dark. And in fact, we're going to make that more sort of going down the, the, the thing because it's all stainless steel. And then here, we're going to want some shading in there as well. There's more reflection really rather than shading. And we'll have a bit in there like that. Coming up there and maybe a bit there too. And I think these can maybe be a little bit darker. So we'll add some more <laughs> of those in there. Uh, this can be very, very dark in there. And then that's getting slightly wider down to the bottom. And then, and, and ideally you want that slightly curved as well to sort of match the, the shape. Of the, it's like a cone underneath there. We can maybe put a bit of something shading in there. 
and then we're going to want some shading on the ground as well just to kind of place it on the table that would be like that and then maybe there'll be some bit of the <laughs> the handle <laughs> casting a shadow too. Now this looks a bit of a mess here, the, all this pasta, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some shading here just to kind of put it in the bowl as it were. So that kind of bit of shading there is just going to separate the, the pasta from the edge of the bowl and place it further back. And there you go, how to draw a colander with a load of pasta inside it. Thanks for watching and please do make sure you are subscribed to Draw Stuff Real Easy and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week. In the meantime, keep drawing, 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 practice, 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 and I'll see you next time. You take care now. Bye-bye.